My name is Mara Jacopal, a change agent with 20 plus years of IT industry experience with a career emphasis on information cybersecurity transformation to include policy, strategy, and organizational program development. A professional with a deep technical and functional experience in managing and developing global teams, addressing multi-regional security requirements as well. So complementing my professional life, I look for an opportunities to give back to the greater community. I sit on several advisory boards, mentorship panels, and nonprofit organizations. So prior to the internet boom, I worked as a programmer building applications in mainframe for the finance and healthcare um, industries mainly. I also owned the supply chain modules for the manufacturing industry. As the internet and technology grew and evolved, I evolved along with it and realized how important it is to safeguard what matters most and what we can do about it. So I quickly learned how to conserve energy uh, to where it mattered. I came in the cybersecurity industry because I have always been incredibly curious about why things are the way they are. So I'm constantly learning. I love to solve puzzles and I try to redefine failure as a learning opportunities to move forward. So all of these trials make working in cybersecurity a great fit for me. As my career has developed over the past two decades, I moved on from individual contributor to a coach, mentor, and the leader that I am now. CISSP is one of the golden cybersecurity certificate and it is recognized by the top organizations in our IT and the security industry. This truly demonstrates that you are at the top of your cybersecurity game in terms of both the knowledge and the experience. The CISP provides the knowledge of modern real world information and threats that the certification provides, while the CISSP facilitates the foundation of IT security principle Certified CSO is focused towards the information security leader. Since my background is IT engineering, it was easy for me to see the technical side of the house on cybersecurity, but I felt I was lacking the overall business strategy. So I decided to take some strategy and leadership programs. Then I stumbled across a CISO course from EC Console at that time. This course combines GRC, IT and regulatory controls, orders and strategic management, which is critical to leading a highly successful cybersecurity programs. CISO is not an entry level certification by any stretch. This is a certification for people who have worked for at least five years in the industry. The certification is deeply rooted in the person's experience with the security and at the corporate level. The CISO is a business senior level information security leader who develops and manages an information security strategy to address the rising threats to the organization in the cyber world in association with the business objective. They play an essential role in creating and leading a team of technical professionals to defend the organizations by decreasing the cyber risk, reacting to the incidents, building controls and establishing and implementing policies and systems. The CISO does not focus solely on technical knowledge, but on the application of information security management principles from an executive point of view. This program is a perfect mix of various skills required for a C-level positions. A minimum of a five-year experience is needed, at least out of three, um, out of five domains included in the CISS program is a must. This covers five domains, whereas CSP covers only eight, dom eight domains. The CISO questions require you to draw from training and real-world experiences, testing your whole CISO skills. This certified program brings technical and management experience and skills together. The body of knowledge uh, includes a greater material that provides a general overview of past, current, and future issues in the information security, as well as the main domains to keep in mind while considering an information security approach. It is definitely a resource that I use throughout my career. Studying for the certification helped me to have a better view, actually 10,000 feet view of Chief Information Security Officer work areas that needed focus. 
It has strengthened my knowledge of best practice, IT security principles, and prepared me for success at the leadership level. It has also solidified the security principle, which are the underpinnings of a successful IT security program, in my opinion. So while I don't have a favorite part, I am mindful that each component of the program is necessary and relevant to providing the appropriate information. I took online training, which is called I Learn, and I read the CISO body of knowledge thoroughly to prepare for the exam. Bear in mind that you only have four hours for the test. And in order to successfully complete the 250 questions, you will have to know the answer to the majority of the questions without thinking. I believe that it was a perfect test as this was how often the CSO has to deal with questions, incidents, board meetings, and reporting during work hours. When the company experiences a security incident, a disaster, or a cyber attack, the CISO has to make decisions to and take leadership and decide quickly, similar to the test. One of the biggest challenges for me was getting the buy-in from the top. Security is not necessarily and directly tied to an organization's business or bottom line. In some organizations, it can be considered an outlier and cost, so that's the challenge. The best CISOs can demonstrate the value of maintaining good security to the business. And this program helped me to have and what to write to the leadership to get their buy-in. This also allowed me to go beyond seeing the intent of what the initiative is bringing to the organization. So you are the executive that is responsible for understanding the security, translating it to the executives and focusing on strategy. The second one I can think of is, is making sure the roadmap is translated in the right language for your tech teams and employees to consume. If you are not keeping everyone on the same page, especially in this complicated network of applications, tools, and the fast pace we are going, we can go out of sync so easily and quickly causing chaos, which will leave gaps in the security. So without going into specific of the program that I led, Understanding CISO's perspective made me apply the knowledge I learned to make the program as business enabler and setting that culture within the teams that I led. So my intention when I started the certification was to get into the weeds of what it is all about and how I can effectively manage the program I lead. I ended up applying the concepts I learned and effectively saw the benefit of better alignment from both the leadership as well as from the inner security engineering team, internal teams. So when I switched the language to what it means to each team, the sheer respect I received and the image I left were incredible, resulting in better relationship with the stakeholders involved. So end of the day, it is about enabling business by minimizing and managing the risk to the organization in which I was able to see that culture. So this certification confirms that the certified professional understands how and where the information security meets the broader business goals. Proves that the professional uh, processes both the managerial skills needed to build the security program and the technical expertise required to execute them. So obviously the obvious side effects were more recognition, better projects and better pay.